three years in the making and $93 million later, students are getting their first look at the new Gallatin High School in Bozeman. MTN's Cody Boyer was able to tag along with the kids and has this report. Well, Gallatin High School already looks big from the outside, so on the inside it seems even larger and hundreds of students, all 8th graders, got to walk the halls for the very first time, starting to imagine what it might be like to be the first Raptors. It was really exciting to watch them interact with a lot of professionals from around the community. Around 600 middle school students piling into Gallatin High School for the first time, we joined them alongside Chief Joseph Middle School Principal Brian Ayers. Just that exposure and, and just getting kids, especially eighth graders, thinking about um, future careers. Young Minds toured the 72 future classrooms, space for them and about 900 other students with them, mingling with the experts behind the construction. Hey, they get to see the new school, which they're really excited about, but then they get to see uh, those trades in action. It's over 300,000 square feet that these eighth graders get to check out today, from the two-story library to the brand new cafeteria, all new homes that they get to look forward to, including the cavernous gymnasium. They're so critically important. You know, you hear about all the shortages that we have in the in the valley, and it's it's important for these kids to realize that there's there's opportunity. Out of around 1,000 different tasks required to build a school this size, more than half are checked off the list. Something Bozeman school leaders know students can learn a lot from. I had an opportunity to be here this morning on on one of the tours, and the and the questions they asked about the electrical system and the mechanical system. It was just rich. Now as of today, the school is about 67% complete. It's actually a little ahead of schedule, so this $93 million project is on course to open next year. In Bozeman, Cody Boyer, MTN News.